Uncle Hunky's fabulous horn. Sha pa 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 pa. Good evening and welcome to Uncle Hunky's. It is I, your old friend, Mr. Fireman, with tonight's lesson how to make a tube out of wood. Here is a piece of elderberry, a one year old water shoot with lots and lots of pith. And we're going to hollow it out with this piece of wire. And we're going to make a little hook on the end with rocks. So again, a craft for nothing. You will need a piece of wire and two rocks about that big. Are you ready? Okay, so it's going to get a little loud because these two rocks are what I'm going to use to ding the metal. There's my metal. Okay, this is your warning. Cover your ears. Are you ready? Here we go. Might take a while. Got to keep resetting. You, of course, you, of course, will need a much larger rock that doesn't move around so much. They can be found outside. Sometimes the foundation of your house. Right now you might be thinking, I don't have a vise. I can't just clamp a rock in it. And I know. But this is inside where I can film. And there are rocks outside in the park, which I could be banging on right now, that might attract attention. And here we are. Okay, well, as you can see, it's flattened out quite a bit. And now I am going to try and put a little hook in it so that it can act 
as a kind of a digging digging tool inside of the elderberry. All right, fire in the hole. I'm gonna keep trying to trying to bend this guy over. It is awkward, awkward. But that's the plan, is if you can do it with nothing. Maybe if I hold it in my teeth. Okay, I got another idea. We are back. I've set up the other rock in here now because it's got a bit of a ledge and I hope to be able to use the original anvil rock, which is this guy, to ding this angle. Still having fun. I might have something here. Now, to pull out the pith. Possible uses for a tube of wood. My first thought, of course, is ninjas breathing underwater. Other things, obviously blow guns come to mind. That would be my second thought. Tubes, 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 let me think. Ideas for tubes. Well, I'll let you come up with some. Here we go, we are that far in already. You have enough scraper for more than half the length of your tube. You can go in from either end and expect to get it done. We're getting close. I end up holding a stick up like this and feeding scraper in from the bottom and feeling around for the knots of remaining pith. I've gone in from the other side and it feels like we're really close. You end up kind of pushing a cork back and forth inside of the tube as you might imagine. The lots are rotating around feeling for it before long. Oh, not there yet. 
Here we go. One more short recording. Maybe we get through. There's me holding the stick up. This seems to be the best way to do it. Get it above your head so that you can let gravity be your friend. Did you go from the other side? One last moment. Uncle Hunky's fabulous horn. Shop up, 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 up.